This video is unnecessarily gendered. Um, it's only gendered if it's helpful to you in finding ideas for like a special guy in your life. And it's almost Valentine's Day. And you might be able to make some of these before Valentine's Day happens. So I just want to give you some ideas. Let's make your guy something. Or if you're a guy, let's make you something. Or if you're someone else that just wants one of these things, let's make it for you. Yeah, okay. So <laughs> starting with few skiing things, um, I think a beer cozy is a great idea. Um, beer cozies are super easy to make. You can make multiple with a single skein and you know, they keep your beer nice and cool while you're holding it for a long amount of time. There is all this Pokemon amigurumi out there and I know a lot of guys like Pokemon. Um, similarly, there I'm sure there's like amigurumi out there that like match different anime characters that they might be into. Um, another one is you can make a cat or a dog that's like matches his pet's look or um, maybe his favorite animal. Um, and you can make it more <laughs> masculine by like putting a sports jersey on it, uh, maybe representing his favorite team, making it the mascot of his favorite team. Another really easy one is there's these patterns for hacky sacks and a hacky sack can be a good gift on its own. So just, you know, hacky sack, there's one idea. But then also second idea with a hacky sack is a stress ball. Um, you can do this for any amigurumi too. Uh, take a balloon, fill it with rice, and then put it inside instead of stuffing. And then you can really like, it feels really good to squeeze. But you can also just, for, more, for simplicity's sake, you can put that inside of a, a hacky sack and that's like really fun stress ball. Um, another idea I had was a car fragrance. So you know those things you hang on your rear view mirror? You can, instead of stuffing them with stuffing, you can stuff them with some lavender, some cedar wood, some palo santo, something else that smells really nice. Um, and yeah, I think that's always a good idea. If you do want to make your guy a tie, um, I think something like a bow tie with lace crochet, um, like lace weight and like a really, really tiny hook, um, would still be wearable and look really good. And actually I have a pattern for that here. Um, you could probably do a similar thing with a tie and still make it wearable. Um, yeah, lace weight, something that's not stretchy. That way it still has a very clear shape um, that I think is important to making those things that you would wear for like a formal event usually um, look nice and like have a good shape to them. Keychains, yeah, just a keychain. Anything that he's interested in, put that on a loop and it's a keychain. Um, coasters, yeah, protect his furniture, make him feel special, really easy to do. Um, now we're going into category two. It might take a little bit more uh, than one skein, but I think Deserves a little more, right? This guy, he he's really nice to your mom. This guy said, I love you. Um, he knows the day of your anniversary, right? He's He deserves more than a skein and, and you're willing to put that work in, right? So we're gonna get him a grocery bag. Uh, I think these bags don't have to be for groceries. It could be for anything. Um, and it's something that like, everybody needs to carry stuff around, right? So a bag like that, great idea. Similarly, you can get him uh, a fanny pack or like a side bag. Um, a lot of these are floral and like maybe your guy finds it like emasculating. Just like all you have to do is change the colors and it looks less like a flower or change the granny square to a different like plain granny square and boring. But if that's what it's going to take for it to feel masculine and for your guy to like it, you know your guy best. So. It is winter, so some really easy winter things. A pair of mittens. Mittens are like pretty like unisex, so you can do that. Um, I also think fingerless gloves. I feel like that for some reason feels more masculine, so fingerless gloves for sure. There's some really cool bucket hats out there, and um, I think that's a great idea for a gift. Uh, a balaclava. I think a lot of the balaclavas can look really cool. And here's a couple patterns that I have of a couple that I think are cool. Um, probably a beanie. A beanie is like really standard crochet project, it takes one or two skeins maybe, um, and it's always going to be practical. And there's some really cool ones you can make. If you're dedicated and you've got some fingering weight yarn and you have a really steady hand, you can make some nice socks. I think easily you can make socks that are too thick, but with the right yarn weight, um, 
a pair of wool socks or something similar can be really comfortable, really nice gift. Whether or not your guy loves to cook, I think having like a rag or a pot holder is something that every house should have, right? And so some pot holders here that I think are cool. And here's a couple of rags that I think are cool. And a rag can be for anything really, um, for use at the gym, as like a towel, for cleaning around the house. Something that depends how long you make it, um, might be a lot of work or not a lot of work is a scarf. So scarves, great idea. Um, this one's gonna be potentially more work, but I think a cool pillow um, that matches his kind of decor would look really cool. And if he doesn't have any decor, I think a good pillow that's like a throw pillow would be a great way to kind of start him on that journey. So yeah, throw pillow for sure. Okay, now we're moving to those big projects, right? This is for a guy that you're like really super happy about. You really love this guy. This guy is your dad. This guy is like your husband. This guy, you know, you're stuck with this guy. He's, you signed a mortgage together. So let's put some work in, okay? Starting with a sweater. A sweater is timeless. It can be genderless, but also there's some sweaters here that I've seen designed specifically with men's dimensions in mind um, that I think would be a great idea. Great gift, especially for the winter time. Similarly, a hoodie. Uh, you can take a sweater and just add a hood to it, but there's also some hoodies that are made specifically as hoodies. And um, again, picking the right colors and the right type of granny square can make any hoodie like really cool personalized thing that like a guy would be happy to wear, yeah. Um, I think vests are another thing that's kind of like trending again. And you could do some tapestry crochet for a vest. Um, again, matching a sports team, matching an anime he likes, matching a hobby of his, um, or just like matching anything that you think is cool. Speaking of tapestry crochet, you can make him, some, make him some wall art, you know? Don't have to put it on a vest, just like have it framed or have it hanging on a little uh, dowel. I think like yarn art or like crochet art um, as just like uh, art on the wall um, is really cool. You can design a shirt or an overshirt. I think if you really want it to be a shirt without a shirt underneath, um, something with less holes in it would look good like this. Um, or something, and, and uh, it has to be with a uh, yarn that's a little thinner, so it's not, not too overwhelming. Um, otherwise, just make it with whatever yarn you have and call it an overshirt. And an overshirt can like make any outfit look um, that much more expensive. These are the things that I think men wear the most that's like a crocheted item and for good reason. I think they add so much texture and color and they can really fit a lot of different outfits. Speaking of shirts, a mesh top. I think mesh looks really, really cool. And here's a couple. And these are especially cool for summer. The last thing I'm gonna say, which I think is the most work, but is the thing that I would want someone to gift to me is a two-piece set. So like either a romper where you take short, a shorts pattern and a top and put them together in, as one, or you can take a romper or you can just do two pieces and have them both matching in stitch style and color. So I think these are some shorts patterns that would really go well with these shirt patterns here um, and it's something that you should consider. So yeah. Let me take this second also to say, there's a lot of videos out there saying like, make your guy a wallet, make him a tool belt. And I think a lot of those are good ideas in theory, but like yarn isn't the best, um, or crochet generally isn't the best thing to make a practical wallet or a practical tool belt. Um, even though those are like really like common like dad gifts, I wouldn't necessarily make them. So with that said, um, no matter what you make for your guy, or if you're making it for yourself, um, don't beat yourself up about it having a couple of imperfections here and there. Um, that's part of the look of it being handmade and part of what makes it so cool. So just like, you know, go for it, do it. Don't beat yourself up about it if it doesn't come out perfectly. Um, and whoever is so lucky to be receiving a handmade crocheted item from you, um, probably understands how much work is put into it. And if they don't understand, you let them know. 
um, and they will feel loved and they will feel appreciated. So yeah, I support you in doing this. I think you can do this. I think a lot of these you can do before Valentine's Day and have fun and yeah, hope this was helpful for you. If you want to see more patterns designed for men or just like get more ideas about like things that guys like, um, I'm like a man slash man adjacent and I make crochet stuff here on YouTube. So just follow me and check out what I'm making. Um, yeah. Okay. See you guys.